Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Leo. So in this reading, we're going to be looking at the energies of how the person who is on your mind can be feeling about you right now and what they might be intending towards this connection. For your cards, I will be using the Mystical Manga Tarot and for the clarifiers, the Fortune Telling Tarot Deck by Yoshitaka Mono. So let's get started. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter? What is the person on Leo's mind connected to or coming towards Leo thinking about them right now? What are they thinking about them and this connection? What are they feeling? What are they feeling in their heart space? What do they like best? What do they like best about Leo and this connection with them? And what don't they like as much? What are their highest hopes? What are their highest hopes for the future? And what are their deepest fears? Now we're going to get three cards for what's likely to happen, what they're likely to do next, and any advice Spirit has for you. I'm going to lay those face down over here, and we will look at them together at the end. One more card. Okay, oh, we got two. On the bottom of the deck, we do have the Three of Wands. Aries energy could be significant, but this is somebody who is definitely interested, attracted to you, drawn to you, thinking about taking some sort of step or moving forward to really explore this, maybe on a deeper level. They feel like their ships could be coming in. Something that they have been hoped for, um, hoping for is right on the verge of happening. So this can be good news or something unexpected. With that Wands energy, which can be about somebody taking action or communicating something, they could definitely surprise you. Heart of the matter is the lovers. I feel like for a love reading, that is very clear. This is what this person is thinking about you, a connection or potential connection with you, or somebody who could be coming towards you. It's a beautiful match. It feels guided. This is, you know, um, somebody who sees you as the one, like the person they could be happy with. I love this particular deck. It has this beautiful red ribbon, which represents the red thread of fate or destiny that connects two people that are meant to me. I feel like with this particular lover's card, no matter where the person is, no matter what, you know, has maybe come between you, what challenges there could be, or whatever the situation, when the moment is right, like nothing is going to stop these two people from coming together. It's guided, it's destined, and this is somebody who in their mind I feel like has already chosen you and sees you as that one. Their heart space is a little bit more complicated. We've got the seven of swords. This is kind of like the cups placement of the reading. So whenever I see swords come here, I feel like somebody could definitely be overthinking their feelings. Aquarius energy with the seven of swords. I think I said Gemini for the lovers. If I didn't, Gemini energy there. But there is something about secrecy, something about somebody, you know, trying to decide what to say and when. There's something that they've held on to that maybe they haven't fully revealed. And the fact that this is showing up in their love, um, in their heart space, underneath this lover's energy, it is quite possible somebody could be having some pretty strong or serious feelings for you. And I just saw 333 on the video. We could be seeing repeating numbers, synchronicities. Maybe they haven't expressed this yet. I mean, sometimes I feel like somebody could have feelings and they'll talk to everybody else except the exact person that they're thinking about. And it's like, it's time for them. I feel like it's time for them them to say something to you. Spirit, oh my goodness, why do we have the Seven of Swords? Yeah, this seems very clear. We've got the Knight of Cups. On the bottom of the deck, Five of Cups, Scorpio energy for both of these cards. This is somebody who could be feeling a little discouraged. If something, you know, went wrong between the two of you or maybe in their past, they could be struggling to believe that this is possible, even though they can't seem to get you off their mind no matter what. Seven of Swords clarified by the Knight of Cups. Somebody is thinking about you. There's a lot of feelings. It feels like, you know, maybe they have been holding back. Maybe they have been getting it, keeping it to themselves, but it's getting to the point where I feel like they can't hold it in much longer. And they know, you know, it's time to open their heart. It's time to say whatever is on their mind. It's time to take these steps. This is somebody who could be wanting to get more serious, take things to the next level, you know, maybe wanting to take you out or express something from the heart. They could even be secretly planning something that you don't know about, like a big 
some special date or something like that. Obviously, it's very specific. It'll be different for each of you, but there is a little bit of a quiet energy, and yet at the same time, there's all this feeling. What they like best about you is the Four of Swords, Libra energy. There's something about this connection that feels healing, that feels peaceful, feels different from the, you know, the painful things that they've been through in the past. It's like something about you feels right. It makes them feel, you know, centered and safe and like they can just relax and take a breath and be natural around them. I think they like thinking about you, dreaming about you. Um, it can even, there could be a strong psychic connection. Sometimes it's a quiet energy but they also might see you as somebody who has come through and healed from a lot of things or somebody that even when things are difficult, it's like you know how to focus, you know how to just calm down, take a moment. You could be somebody, you know, who is like spiritual, meditates, things like that. Not necessarily, but you could be. And they might even feel like they've like learned things from you and how you like get through. Spirit, why do we have this four of swords? Why do we have this four of swords? Page of wands. Yeah. Um. Aries Leo Sagittarius here but I do almost feel like there's something that this person feels like they could like they could learn from you with the page of wands and the four of swords maybe if you have been through some difficult things and you're choosing to get better you're choosing to heal you're choosing to take initiative on what's important to you I feel like they admire that with the page of wands we also have the chariot on the bottom of the deck cancer energy and I'm recording this right towards the end of cancer season could be somebody wanting to talk communicate or move something for word, especially if they have been a little bit quiet. I feel like they also admire like your willpower, your focus, your drive with that chariot energy. But with the page of wands, I think they like hearing from you. They like talking to you. And if they've been quiet, I think they're definitely thinking about, you know, striking up some sort of specific conversation and seeing how that conversation can move around to this more serious topic of how, you know, they're feeling or where this can go. What they don't like as much is the two of wands. It almost feels like over planning with this three of wands on the bottom of the deck. This is somebody who's getting out there, ready to explore things. You know, they're facing, for me, like the water, which is their emotions, their feelings. They feel like their ships are coming in, good things are happening. This two of wands is like a planning energy. It's somebody who wants to do all that, who wants to, you know, explore things, has the world in their hands, so could be wanting to travel towards you, you know, or looking at pictures, talking to you online, things like that. But this is somebody who's still kind of planning that journey, planning that step. You see how they're still in the castle holding the world, which means, you know, they want to venture out, they want to explore this, but they're still a little bit in like their comfort zone. So I don't know, like that is, I'm going to get a clarifier. If maybe you have taken your time about things and they're hoping that you're going to take some sort of step or they feel like if they over plan or wait too long, maybe they could miss an opportunity. So you're, why do we have the two of wands, four of wands? My goodness. Okay. We got the eight of cups on the bottom of the deck and the empress here. Some of you could be dealing with a strong soul connection, Taurus, Libra here with the empress, but my goodness, the lovers and the empress energy, this person could definitely see you as the one. We've got the four of wands clarifying the two of wands, which is Aries energy and somebody who wants to definitely take this to the next level. Maybe they have been moving kind of slowly or over planning, overthinking. Maybe they're even a little nervous, you know, that they want this. They don't know if you want it because four of wands is two people like really creating something together, making it happen. There's an eight of cups here, Pisces energy. Somebody could have got quiet. Somebody could have pulled away. And I feel like if that is the case, that could have been the moment that they realized, you know, more than ever that you're the only one they can imagine themselves with. It's clear because their highest hopes are the queen of wands. That would be Leo energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it feels like, you know, when I saw that, I was like, they are thinking of you. They like you for you. They're drawn to you. They find you interesting, you know, passionate, spontaneous, fun to be with, exciting, very magnetic. And, um, 
I think they might want to spontaneously say or do something, or they might be hoping from a message from uh, from you. That could be, you know, different depending upon you know your situation. But with this Queen of Wands and the Lovers energy showing up here, Leo, this person sees you. Like they see you as somebody they could be happy with. They're thinking about you like crazy, and they might even want to do something really spontaneous or unexpected to show you how they feel, to take initiative, to really make this happen. What their deepest fears are is the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands, Leo energy, Virgo energy here. They could be a little nervous that you might say no, have your guard up and decide to, you know, stay single or stay in your own space. That's a very literal kind of description of of these but when things come into my mind it's like I have to say it it might be something um, they also in a sense could be like getting some things sorted out prioritized in their life this is a hero's card this is somebody who's ready to take a stand say no to what doesn't serve so they can say yes to what really matters with the nine of pentacles that is somebody who has taken some time to, you know, work on their um, stability, work on themselves, get really clear about who they are and what they want, and is more ready for the Ten of Pentacles. They might be nervous that they're guarded or that they're not quite, you know, in that place. And yet the attraction, the interest in, in you is just undeniable. It does seem like there's a little bit of nerves, though, with this Four of Wands showing up in a challenge placement, which has a lot to do with two people taking things to the next level. You know, it's almost like they could be nervous about taking a step or speaking up and and if you don't feel the same you know so we're gonna look at what's likely to happen they're likely to do next any advice spirit has for you likely to happen is the higher font okay i mean somebody could be thinking about a proposal obviously you're all in completely different um spaces in connections but i just have to say that because this for me in a love reading has to do with you know commitment and that person that you just want to bring into your world you want to introduce you know your family friend group you want to be accepted by them you want them to accept you you want to let everybody know you know this is my person you you want to see where it can go you want to see what can happen it's somebody who wants to do the right thing wants to do right by you and wants to do right by this connection it feels like in their mind look at this we have this beautiful red ribbon in both of these they're feeling like you're somebody that they've been drawn to that they've been meant to meet and they might want to you know um they might want to move move forward and I feel like if there has been like nerves around getting more serious or commit committing or making some big step I think this is somebody who's definitely getting past this because they see you like they see you as somebody that they want to have in their world like more and more and more Taurus energy here so what are they going to do about that nine of swords my goodness I'll pull clarifier to see what this person is so up in their head about Gemini energy but it seems like with what's likely to happen the hierophant like the two of you could definitely you know really end up together and get taking this you know to a more you know more committed or more serious level but when it comes to the step to take what to do what to say this person is like could be tossing, turning, overthinking, waking in the night, wishing that, you know, you were there thinking of you. But when it comes to thinking about, you know, how do I take the step? How do I say, you know, what's on my mind and in my heart? They could really be like overthinking this. I mean, especially if they have been keeping, look at this all of these feelings, you know, a secret. Obviously, you know, you're all in different places. It's not going to be the case for every single person, but there's something that they haven't said yet. And I feel like they know it's time. They know it's time to say something or do something. And when it comes down to it, like the nerves kick in. Spirit, why do we have this nine of swords? Why do we have this nine of swords for what this person is likely to do? Why do we have this nine of swords? We got the eight of pentacles and look at this. High priestess and this knight of pentacles peeking out the side here. Um, 
Eight of Pentacles is the clarifier, which we'll talk about in a minute, but that's actually really good. Um, with the High Priestess and the Knight of Pentacles, there's definitely some things this person has been thinking and feeling that I don't think they've brought out in the open yet. Could be a strong psychic connection between the two of you. There's a lot of intuition here with the High Priestess. It is a little bit of a quiet energy, but the two of you could be thinking about each other at the same time, hearing songs, seeing signs, all sorts of little things. But this person, I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles, more Taurus energy, Virgo Cancer Pisces for me with this high priestess. Um, they are steadily moving forward. They want to take those steps. They want to make this happen. They want to bring something out into the open for sure. They might be a bit of a thinker and a planner, but this Knight of Pentacles is the knight that crosses the finish line. They are the one that, you know, sees things through. I see the magician peeking out. Aries, Gemini energy could be significant here, but it feels like, and it's interesting how, I don't even know how that got in reverse. I checked these, they were all up right before we started. And yet, as I took it out, it kind of turned up right here. Somebody who's been holding back and maybe thinking about you quite a lot, I feel like they're realizing it's time to take initiative. Aries Gemini here with that magician. Clarifying the Nine of Swords, we have the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo there. The Eight of Pentacles is somebody who does want to put in the time energy and see what can happen and see where this can go. It's a very earthy, focused, dedicated energy. It feels like they want to get out of their head and really just do something. Just stop thinking and just maybe take some sort of bold step. With the Eight of Pentacles, this is somebody who feels like, you know, whatever the two of you have between you so far, it's significant and it's worth exploring more. It's worth seeing what can happen. In some cases, they might throw themselves into their work a little bit as they plan something with that Knight of Pentacles, you know, as they decide. But whatever the case is, I feel like this is somebody who's getting grounded and deciding their next move. So what is your advice? And we got two cards. Oh my goodness. We got the Three of Cups and the Two of Cups. Wow, Cancer energy here, but there is definitely um, Scorpio and Pisces as well with all of these cups, but these are cardinal energies, but it almost feels like the way these cards are showing up, the Three of Cups a little bit behind this Two of Cups, something could go from a lighthearted, playful, kind of friendly, you know, um, connection to something a little more deep, one-on-one. -on -one. This is somebody, it feels like to me, opening up their heart, offering their heart, saying what they're feeling. And there's something about your guides saying, you know, enjoy, have fun with it. And boy, Leo's, there's <laughs> so many Leo's videos of my life. You guys do know how to have a good time. And I love that. Like, I absolutely love it. You know when it's time to get serious, but you know how to have a good time. And there's something about, you know, connecting with your crew or being around this person, doing things you like, having a little fun, not thinking, you know, too hard about it that is shifting over. It feels to me like a three of cups, which is kind of a lighthearted, friendly energy to a two of cups, which is a more intimate, one-on-one. -on -one. Let's talk about this. Let's see where it can go. You have the person I want to be with energy, but it feels like you just being in a real good space is attracting in someone who's a match, someone who sees you, finds you irresistible, and wants to make this happen. It's beautiful. I love it. So if you enjoyed the reading, please put a like on it. If you haven't subscribed, I would love if you would. If something spoke to you and you'd like a personal reading or you want to join me on Patreon for bonus content all month long, those links are in the description box. I just put up a love reading, like a collective love message for the full moon in Capricorn on Patreon this morning. And it was a really, it was a really great message. I was excited. And um, so if you're interested, check it out. I love you guys. Happy birthday season coming up. Up, and I will talk to you soon.